I'd like to speak a little bit about thinking. You see, human beings need to start thinking at the planetary level. We need to start to understand how we can exist together and how to create a peaceful world, fundamentally, right? And in order to do so, each human being has to have the capacity to think as if they were in charge of the whole planet. Because if, if you don't even think that way, you have no conception of what it takes to understand what we're going to go through as a species in this transformative time. In my opinion, right now, we have people or beings or families or bloodlines that are controlling the, the currency systems they're controlling in the back rooms and the in places we have no connection to. We have no ability to influence the, the people at the top so that they help the species. There seems to be uh, a lot of greed and control and power mechanisms that are taking place that we as individual human beings have no idea how to interact with. We are usually at the results of what they are doing and who they are we can name them with names we can name them with families we can name them with bloodlines we can name them with with words but that just creates division that just creates an us versus them and at some point we have to get to the point of wise intelligence we have to understand that as conscious human beings that each of us has the ability to contribute to the whole. Each of us has the um, capacity to come up with something that maybe no one on the earth has ever thought of. And, and we have to honor each of us as individuals to be able to come up with something good. And if that isn't there, and if we're always thinking about, well, how are we going to kill somebody? And how are we going to blow somebody up <laughs> it's just not going to work because i think fundamentally all human beings want peace i mean we, we've we've had comics and books and movies and tv shows and so many things about war and we watch it and we read it and we think about it but fundamentally <laughs> i think most human beings don't want to be involved in war. We don't want people coming over these roofs and through the, the paths and through the uh, <laughs> roads and, and hordes of people going, ah, we're going to kill you. We don't want that. I mean, if, if anyone is watching this, I think we can all agree on that. I mean, deep down, human beings... I just don't think that we want war. I think war is created and it's created by certain mechanisms that we have no control over. So how do we, in a peaceful way, create a planet that is peaceful? I mean, that, that has to be the fundamental question of the day. We're in a limited resource planet. There's only so many resources available. But there seems to be a lot of food, but it doesn't seem to get to the people. Like there's 40% of the food that's created is wasted. And, you know, there, there's so much land around that we could produce the food with, but we're not being that intelligent because of our systems in place and how we distribute the wealth. I mean, we can all sort of agree upon that one, right? But those that have all the wealth aren't going to go, well, hey, Let's figure out a new system so we can distribute it. They're not going to do that. And they're violent and they're insane, in my opinion. I mean, if, if anyone is willing to drop an atomic bomb, if anyone is, is, is willing to, to make weapons of war that are, that, I mean, we've reached a point in our own evolution of our species where we have to come to grips with our own insanity. And 
getting back to the first point in terms of a, a species level thinking for everybody, everyone on the planet, in my opinion, needs to have some part of their mind linked into like a, a type of thinking where you become the commander of earth. You become in charge of earth. And, and if you start thinking in this manner, you just think differently than, oh, I'm going to go to the corner store to get myself a Coke, or I'm going to go down the road to play, or I'm going to go to my office, or I'm going to go wherever. Like, like there are scopes of responsibility. And when you think in terms of the whole, when you think in terms of the whole species, if, if all of a sudden we snapped a finger and you were in charge of the planet, you think differently because you, you have to take into account everything that's going on. And most people won't put themselves in the position of being, I'm in charge of earth. And I, I just think it's an, a very interesting scenario to put yourself in. And there's a game that a, a friend of mine has created, Noah McCord. It's called the Game of Planets. And we're just testing it right now. And I've been playing it for a while. I've been an early tester and I played many online games. Not many, but enough to know that this one is, is pretty good. This one has you thinking in terms of how do you build your planet's resource infrastructure? And then how do you colonize space? And then how do you interact with all these other empires? And I think it's a, it's a great way for human beings to start to think at the level of being a planetary commander. And it, it's, again, it, it's a type of thinking that I think all humans need because we all need to start to understand that we're a connected whole. We are neurons in the mind of God, so to speak. And each of us has a place and each of us has something that we can do that is, becomes our purpose in life, becomes what we are here to experience. And when you really tap into that, I think you, you understand your function. You understand, well, if I'm in charge of the planet, I'm going to do this because I can do anything I want. <laughs> I just think it's a, it's a sort of, it's a method of philosophy that may or may not be involved in our educational system, but I think it should be. Like so many people are playing games these days and it's influencing how we organize our mind. It's organized, like it, it, it's a beautiful way for a human being to come to terms with violence. Like if you press a button and you destroy a world, you know, you, <laughs> it's, it's a big thing, right? Like it's just a game, it doesn't matter. We play these games and we press a button and somebody dies and, and it doesn't matter. But at some point it does matter. And I don't think our species is going to evolve if we don't start to look at how our children are educated and how much we sort of integrate principles of things like permaculture and other higher order aspects of human interaction. Anyway, just a thought of the day. <laughs>